Great, so now I'm gonna give you a basic overview of the layout and menus in Serum. So we have four main menus. You've got Oscillator, FX, Matrix, and Global. Oscillator is where your oscillators, your envelopes, your LFOs, your filters are, and your cool keyboard. Um, this is where like 90% of the magic happens. Your effects are all your effects. We're gonna go into copious depth about this later, but you can turn them on off by highlighting them and you can also drag them around to affect the routing. Um, the matrix is where you can do some more complicated routing. Um, mostly in the oscillator menu, you just drag and drop, but there are a couple of options in here that you can only really reach through the matrix menu. And when you're throwing around LFOs and envelopes and stuff when you're programming, it can get a little unwieldy. I mean, it's got, you've got up to eight LFOs and three envelopes and you can lose track of stuff and it's great to just go through the matrix menu and take a look at these things. We'll take a more in-depth look at that later. Last, we have the global menu and here we have the chaos generators, which I will do more on later. You have all the uh, different unison settings, got your preferences and your oscillator settings. We've also got the main menu. We've got a bunch of different little functions like copying oscillators and whatnot. You can go into the manual, not that many people use these things. Um, the most important one is load preset and initialize preset. Um, you can also save preset right here on with that little disk button. We've got here the main preset menu. And here you can see, this is, I've got a lot of third party stuff as well as my own, a ton of my own user presets. This probably looks a little more complicated than yours, but you'll also see mixed in here a lot of the stock presets. There's also a preset menu where you can get a little more granular with it and you can start tagging your presets with categories and stuff. If you like to be super organized, you can use this. I don't know that many people that do. And it also shows you the location of where it is. Um, you've also got a macro control that you can control right from here in the preset menu. So that's a basic overview of the menu system. Next, we're gonna get into how to create wavetables.